is officially a new year. Winter is in full swing. And I felt a little lost and very overwhelmed. Snow makes it feel as if time has stopped. Everything is blanketed in white and sounds are muffled. And things, places, or scenes that have grown ordinary to our eyes suddenly seem beautiful and exciting. I'm grateful for this snow break because honestly, all I want to do is curl up and hibernate for the next few months. was extremely difficult for so many people. It was meant to be our second try, or a new hope, if you will, after the disaster that was 2020. And don't get me wrong, there were many highlights to 2021. Really though, at the moment, I just feel overworked and emotionally exhausted. Really not motivated to try again. My gut instinct is to ask, how can I change this? But I think there has to be a mindset switch. First off, it is okay to feel lost and unmotivated. Feel your feelings. And it's important to realize that we are not our achievements. The thing about New Year's is that it's so often focused on what's next. What big things am I going to achieve this year? We often equate happiness to big life moments or achievements. We're trained to measure the value of our lives by how much we've achieved. And so, each year, just before the winter months, in the northern hemisphere at least, 
just after the holidays, just when we're meant to really slow down and rest, we're bombarded with new year, new you talk. How to be motivated to get it all done. Hit the ground running. This will be the year you make it all come true. And so on and so forth. Well, all I want to do is rest. And that should be more than acceptable. I recently read a thought by Ashley Perez that absolutely froze me in my tracks, and it goes, Perhaps the greatest misconception I have been debunking in my own life is that doing, rather than simply existing, is the thing that makes me valuable. Trust that you are valuable for being exactly who you are. I read her words and immediately began to cry. Somehow, I've convinced myself that my value lies in how much I'm able to accomplish, how much I can do for others. Seriously, the amount of guilt I feel on days I do nothing at all productive for myself or for anyone else is astounding. have to be extraordinary to live an extraordinary life. Measuring our value by how much we can achieve is toxic. We need to slow down and reconnect with ourselves. As Ashley said, we need the space to think, reflect, and feel rather than busying ourselves with all the steps we need to take to be better in this new year. How, though, do we break this pattern? How do we find meaning when we've been taught our entire lives to seek validation externally? First, we need to internalize the fact that there's no right or wrong way to be. You are more than enough. Guilt, shame, and self-criticism are destructive forces in your life that do absolutely no good.
Learn to recognize your self-deprecating thoughts and remove your self-worth from them. Focus your attention and your energy and your emotions on the things you can control and stop feeling like a failure over things entirely out of your control. Know that you do not need to suffer to earn great things or be rewarded or just to live a good life. And recognize that your dreams are also work. So don't worry if life just doesn't feel like it's measuring up to our romanticized ideas of what living your dreams should be like. I keep expecting it to feel a certain way, and sometimes it really does. Mostly though, it's just normal. <laughs> Normal, though, can be beautiful. And another thing. Free time is very different from availability. You do not have to always be available for others. You are more than worthy of your own time. Lastly, the greatest joy can be found in the simplest of things. I know we all know this. Small moments. casual blessings that make us aware of the richness of our daily lives. I don't want to look back at my life and see yet another checklist of big achievements with absolutely nothing in between. I want to see a life so full of joy, laughter, and love. Oh, and good food and great company.
I just want you to know that I don't make videos in hopes of achieving grand things. I once did, but now I see that the value is found in the connections I make with each and every single one of you. The value is found in how looking at my life through my camera lens makes even the most mundane of things feel magical. There is so much value in sharing the human experience with so many. None of us is alone. Thank you so much for taking the loneliness out of my life. And to conclude, the details of your life matter. You are so valuable just as you are. It is the simple joys, the casual magic of our daily lives that give us meaning. Do not be afraid to enjoy your life. and rest often, especially when you need to. Thank you for being here, friends. And believe in yourself, a oh, wondrous you.